What up, everybody? I'm Zombie by Beasel. This is Phoenix Friday's Attorney, Case 4. Turn around to buys. I didn't think I was going to have enough time for this episode. There's not much left to this case, but I didn't think I'd be able to do it before an hour. As I've said before, the maximum amount of time I can record a video for on this PlayStation is exactly an hour. It was at 51 minutes, and I didn't believe I was going to have enough time. So this is one's going to be probably short. Or prove me wrong! Say it now! Say it loud, say it proud, say it now! Your Honor, there's a suspect, one lone suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who's your suspect? <laughs> <laughs> My hands are shaking. What? Von Karma! Von Karma? <laughs> you mean the Von Karma? The prosecutor? The one standing right over there? No! The. the, 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 the. <laughs> no! The defense attorney! Yes, yeah, the prosecutor! The shitbag standing across from me. Ah! You don't object? Hmm. I see no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet yeah, you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? Do you claim that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident? Prove it! Prove it! I would have needed surgery, no? Where did I go? I did a knife have Mr. Wright. Ain't the doctor that operated on me. Have him testify. Nick, let's find out who his doctor is. It's no use. It's weird. I don't want karma perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That will leave a doctor as a witness. Oh, he's that perfect. Wait, what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane. No, he couldn't have. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself. Hey, what does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere, but... It's in his shoulder! Well, Mr. Wright, can you produce evidence to prove that I was shot? Yes! Yes, I can! Alright, Buck I'll prove it. Now even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. What? The evidence that proves one time I was shot is... The one thing from before that was not taken away. Remember? Phoenix Knight said he was going to get rid of some evidence that he no longer needed. Except for this. You wave that over to something metal, it'll beep. That means if the bullet's on your shoulder, it'll beep. Take that! One cover's perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery even in evidence, child. So then I ask, where's that bullet now? I think it's unlikely that Von Kar Van Kyman performed surgery, performed surgery on himself. Have a stroke? What? Stroke check. You, you don't mean... But... I do. There's a possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Kyman. Yeah, I say. Yeah, five minutes already just passed. I wouldn't have had time. Is that even possible for all these years? Well, there's one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, gonna run this over you to see what we find. I refuse. You refuse? But refusing this means... You acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you? Order! 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 Your Honor, the defense requests that we allow that we be allowed to use a metal detector. Judge, I call for suspension of this trial. This is invasion of privacy. Statute of limitations run out on this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Enough. 
I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we don't, we have to give it a shot. Hmm. He's reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet! Gay bullet! Mr. Von Karma? You. It was you! I was afraid this would happen. But so I remained silent. Gee, there's a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. I miss my karma. Can you prove that? Prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. Actually, you do. You're the one who came up with it. There's Mr. Wright here who must prove something. Not I. Mr. Wright. Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that bullet in the long shot of us from DL6? Of course you can't. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. That's because you took it out of the wreckage room, you fuck. With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. Mm -mm. No! I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? You were close. One day away from freedom. But you see, I have proof! What? Who would have thought you would dig your own grave trying to convict convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. And here's my final proof. Remember, from the beginning. They talked about ballistic markings. The same remains for this bullet. Check it with the bullet in his shoulder if they match. That proves it. Take that! That that's a bullet? Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6, isn't it? The car music! I love it! <laughs> this was the ta this was taken from the heart of the victim next to Greg Regatoid. The bullet is preserved quite nicely with all the ballistic marking and that. Ballistic marking? M9. You may recall the term. Came up in the first trial two days ago. Biatch. Those six markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that very weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. Yeah, there's no way in hell I would have done it in time. Fifteen minutes passed. Ten minutes passed, excuse me. No fucking way I would have done it. So I was right to call that. It's quite accurate. I thought I could do it in one part. Nope. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Ray Ray Edgeworth's heart. And the other, Mr. Von Karma, is a bullet buried in your shoulder. We could analyze both bullets. Then the markings match. We would know that both bullets have been fired on the same gun. The very same pistol. In other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Hmm. Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. Let's solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma. I'm not doing that. I'm not killing my throat, man. That scream. I've heard that scream before. Hey, I know. Elf! Can't breathe! Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air! I I'll stop you! Stop breathing my air! Get away! Get away from my father! Yeah! It's that scream I heard in the elevator 15 years ago. On Karma! It was you who screamed! 
Bam, 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 can you prove that? Mr. Von Karma? Edgeworth! Edgeworth! Only you were there to find me! So it was you. You and your father are my curse! Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record. No, I'm not smacking my head. <laughs> I'll wait till he knocks his ass out. <laughs> Jesus! And you! You left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. I'll bury you! I'll bury you in my bare hands! Death! Death! Holy fuck, you either gonna break your skull, knock himself out, or break through that! Fuck. Fifteen years earlier. Chief Prosecutor, I'm sorry. On Carlo? It is not like you to make this kind of error. Never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I, I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Yeah, there's no way I was doing this. Fuck. Edgeworth! Oh shit! It was a shock like I have none of ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the core wreckage room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went in the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Then there was a noise. I was in pain, horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then he was just me. In his last moments, Gregor Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I have to. My pill is more important than this. It shouldn't take me too long. I'm genuinely sorry about that. But it's more important <laughs> than this. I have to take it or my thyroid won't work. <laughs> I thought it'd be done fast before this. I, I swear, I thought it would be done before this. And I, I didn't have water. I figured I'd be done before this and I could go get refill it. 
I wasn't paying attention at the time. Sorry! Judge! What? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring it into this miserable shrod. Now, end it! Very well. Appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles says, What? Yes, Your Honor? You are innocent. You are innocent. Excuse me. Well, you said it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court defi defines. The court finds the defendant nice to Miles Edgeworth. Not guilty! Wake up! Out of all. Two not guilty verdicts in one day. Woo. Out of all, this court is adjourned. Chapter 28, 5.38 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Nick, Nick, we did it. We did it, Maddie Samuel. Did you see his face? One time I looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed! I gotta say, I'm impressed. Damn, it's pretty close, though. I'm sure we had. I'm sure we had it. I know. I was on the verge of tears the whole time I sailed. But now it's all just a good memory. Memories. Memories. So it's finally all over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure how to say this. I know. I know. Try. Thank you. I see. Thank you, right? You're welcome. I think you could have done better than that. Eh, sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. Oh, no, I don't worry, Nancy Boy. Just got you there. Woo! Randy, pal, you pulled through just like I thought you would. I'll never forget this. Oh, you one, pal. Now, tonight, let's party. Then about me. Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? See, Mr. Edgeworth? You should take a lesson of attack against you. That's how you say thank you. Hmm. See. <clears throat> Whoop. I feel foolish. Don't worry. Take it a little at a time. Please, sir. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this son daughter. Hey, y'all! Howdy, oh, yeah, Mr. K! What? It's just old man like... <laughs> Old man Jenkins, he's choppy. Lot of, lot of hair. <laughs> Just that, I can't do. Y'all were great in there. Thank you. Yo, wage work. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you all very much. Knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar even over there. I would. Cookie jar, at least I wouldn't shoot someone. <laughs> Not unless they were threatening my life. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, that black guy's got a gun. We were witch. What are you gonna do now, Lada? Who, me? Oh, I went back to college. Gave a trend of being investigated photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Mm hmm? It's over, Nick. My life's over! Why a sad face, Larry. What happened now? I killed my girlfriend, Nick! <laughs> oh, Nick, I'm not long for this world. It, you don't look sick. It's Keyonce. She, she's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick. She's leaving me behind. Should have seen that coming. Yo, Edgy, there you are. Ah, uh, yes, here I am. All right, Edgy. There, a little gift from me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Yeah, me, but you come along tonight. Two, you come along tonight too, my treat, pal. Eh? Yeah, thanks. Looking forward to it. Hey, yo, Nick. That's a suit from the custom, eh? What he says, treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Hey? Think it'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah? What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not that strange. People get money away to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, right? Huh? I don't know amount. It's not a little, but it's not a lot either. I need dollars exactly? Nick? 
I'm not exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen to Mr. Edgeworth at school. Thirty dollars! No. No, oh, Larry, it was you. Why are you so surprised at that, right? Huh? Well, it was absent that day from school, right? That does not automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day, 15 years ago. Larry well, took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> it's worth. You didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know. Really right. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this sure is an unexpected turn of events. Yeah, look at this! 24 minutes left. I never would have gotten it done. What the hell was I thinking? Thanks, Ward. Mm -hmm. You should have told me. No, oh, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Don't you think the statute of limitations would run out, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it. <laughs> Where did that leave me? You became a defense attorney because of what you two did. My well, always have been something of an insufferable... I was gonna say prick. Insufferable emotionalist. <laughs> and you get worked up too easily, too. Death! The death sentence for both of you! If I had known, that if I had only known, if I only had known, I'd become a prosecutor. Same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Hedgeworth, wanna switch right? Hey y'all, line up, I'll take a photo. Hey, photo time, let's go. And after that, dinner on me. Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. <laughs> Even though Edgeworth himself is still in detention. December 29, 5.02 a.m. Night and Co. Law Offices. Whoa, I was a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Huh? It's only five. Maybe you should go back to sleep. Hmm? What's this? The ladder. Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium, in training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I decided to go back and buy training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Goodbye? What time is it? Yeah! First trains for the mountains have already left to the station! Yeah, the fuck was I thinking? There's no way. No way! Damn. Get some QA. Hey! Nick? Maya? So you're leaving? I am now in leaving Bikini Bottom. Yeah? It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Wait! What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without you, your, your help. Huh? No, no, I stayed at the trial. I heard her. I heard me's voice. You heard my sister? Yeah, it's only her voice, but still. So we got that very end when I thought we'd lost everything. But as for sister for you, Detective Gumshoe helped and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. That was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped one car, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything! All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence. Take that! <laughs> <laughs> Take that! No. It's... She got this off of... Von Karma. Without that, we wouldn't have been able to do it. A bullet? Von Karma was convinced he had taken all the evidence pertaining to DL6. 
but you were the one who rescued this last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. You were the one who gave it to me. Eh, thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm gonna complete my training and come back. Okay, I'll be waiting. Of course you will. If you can't run that office by yourself, you're hopeless. Hey, hey fuck you. Well, I don't know about that. Bing a ling a ling, ring a ding a ding dong. So this is it. See you soon, Maya. Thanks, Nick. And so, my story ends. Time to turn a new page. Say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Ha! Don't think that you graduated yet, amateur. This is the right. Perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> now, in the 3DS version, there was a point in which... You could yell, uh, objection. I guess it's not here. Ooh, detective gum shoe! Fuck, sorry! Then he hung his head low and went right back outside. Kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? I love this game. Oh, I love this series. I didn't play Spirit Justice or whatever the hell the others were. Huh? Nick? Nah, I haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I've been working in a tea shop. That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you'd call a cheap date. Hmm? Oh, she's in Hawaii right now, yeah. God damn it! You think you'd learn to date somebody who's not gonna leave like that? Ah, uh, excuse me! Who? Right? Yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. It's good, you! Sure, he's grateful. He sounds exactly like you'd think in the enemy. Ah, there's your bill, boy. You excited? Hmm. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Well, you should know, I've taken over management of the Gatewater Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. <laughs> That's great. Tubby tits! <coughs> hmm? Oh, it's you. Phoenix, right? Ah, yes, Mia's understudy, would he not? I wonder how he's doing. Haven't seen him of late. Ah, the days of my youth. I like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. You're gonna tear your tits off, man! <laughs> then you're. Fucking. The, the fuck your mustache! Phoenix, right? Is he an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with the name like Phoenix. You know if I need blah 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 blah. Atsushi. I said that wrong. I'm sorry. Atsushi. Pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. Sure, I'll let Mr. White a great deal. Oh, well, I'm keeping my face out of the public eye until the show is over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know. But what, being a werewolf? Now you meet that out of Hiroshi Nakaya. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. Sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit it, but I didn't have time, so I sent her some pink princess trading cards. She said she can't buy them when she is. What place is she living in, anyway? Crane. Oops. You're not supposed to know that till the next game. Yumiko Uchida. Right? Who's that? 
You want a talk? Let's talk. Pink Princess. All right. But you know, I snuck into the studio the other day, and I saw her, the one inside the Pink Princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. It's kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. Fuck you! Atsushi Naba. Or is it Achi? I don't know. Yeah, I remember right, the liar guy. And me. I've been training to become a paranormal photographer. You know the picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there's a ghost. For real, now that's talent. It's gonna be famous. Shinji Mikami. <laughs> Hi, Mia. <laughs> Thank you, Capcom. Did you know that used to stand for capsule computers? <laughs> C. C. Nee, 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 nee. I know it showed the credits, but that wasn't the last case. Because that's where it was in the original. And it only made sense to put the credits there. Now this one is the only case that does not have the turnabout motive. Rise from the Ashes. This one changes the formula up a little bit, and I kind of... I'm not sure if it was before or after the other Phoenix Wright games, as in, uh, well, the other Ace Attorney games. Like Apollo Justice, you know those. I've never played them. Because at the time, I didn't know about them. And I was more interested in Phoenix Wright than anyone else. When I finally... Learned about the series. Thought is there more Phoenix Wright games? If I played the three originally. On the 3DS. Thought was there any more? Just these three? Oh, would you play someone else? Oh. I would like it if they would remake them. But well, if they don't, well. That's fine. I do intend to get the one they just released not too long ago. Maybe I'll do it. Not before I play through it, so it doesn't... I don't like doing things blind, really. But next time... We'll be rising from the ashes. Until then, I'm Zombified Weedle, stay zombie, and I am out. Yeah, what the hell? 30 minutes went by, just about. How the hell was I expecting to fit that inside of 10 minutes? <laughs> I'm a fucking fool. I don't know why. Why? Why am I a dumbass like this? Well, either way. I'm Zombie Weasel, stay zombie, and I am out.